Good morning everybody and today we're going to talk about batteries. Okay, there's really three main kinds of batteries that you'll find in your standard automotive use. Um, you've just got your basic standard starting battery. So this is a calcium battery. Um, it can take heat and is designed for a large output quickly. So it's good for starting. It's not designed for slow output. So it's, it's not good for fridges or anything like that. It's, it's a starting battery designed to go on your bonnet. You'll pretty much get them in two main designs, obviously close to the top, or most of your European cars will have what's called a DIN style battery, which has got the recessed post, so they sit neater. Um, so that's basically what you've got to get under your bonnet, old school, everybody knows it. Um, what we're moving into now is the modern style of battery. So these have come about as caravanners and frigid, for fridges and sort of these low, low output, long term, sort of capabilities. So our first is an under bonnet style AGM. So this is a vented glass mat battery. This you can put under your bonnet. It's designed, you'd, you'd use it for running your fridge or something like that. Um, it's a bit of a hybrid style of battery. So you can also start it off in a pinch, but it's really designed for a, a long-term output and really the general for fridges, um, lighting, all sort of stuff like that. So that's good for under bonnet. If you're going to put it a battery in your caravan, um, then you move to what's called your full glass mat AGM. This is a sealed battery. It will emit no gases, anything like that. Um, so it's you know you find it under beds in your caravan, any sort of small enclosed places. You can also put it in a canopy in the rear of your ute. Um, this will take a sort of is better for that sort of slow discharge, low voltage situation. Um, and the only problem with it is it won't take heat. So you put it under a bonnet, it, we get them in, they balloon up and they crack the cases. So when deciding which battery you're gonna purchase, it depends on its location as much as its application. So hopefully that's everything you need to know about batteries and a quick battery 101, thank you.